In regard to my last posted video this past Saturday in which I outlined the important astrological perils the orange menace is facing from the middle of this week until the first week of March, on account of the traveling Venus-Mars conjunction including a moon trigger all pointing straight at his 12th house Venus-Saturn conjunction, while this is accurate and true, what I did not include is the fact that as all of this is happening, we also have to remember that Pluto is parked in those very same degrees of Capricorn, a little forward in the 27 and a half degree range, but because we know Pluto is due to make a 26 degree station in October, it is definitely active in its transiting opposition to his natal Venus. So saying that the Moon, when it goes by those degrees, is triggering the Venus-Mars conjunction is one thing, but really it is triggering Venus, Mars and Pluto, which makes the energy intensity ramp up significantly, as do the chances an especially juicy mess is manufactured as a result. Pluto has been near these degrees for some time. It was already active during 2020, but definitely in 2021, and now this year as well, directly opposing is Venus. And judging by the way things have been going for the Mar-a-Lago liar and criminal, it looks to me like it is systematically undermining the effectiveness of his messaging via the third sign rulership by Venus and literally destroying his career, reputation and social power because Venus also rules the 10th, which is the house of career in the place of his zenith and midheaven. Of course, do realize that Pluto's transit also explains his methodology during these years, which is basically to go into full-on authoritarian fascist mode, this being one of the darkest ways that Pluto manifests. And since we're talking about Trump, you can always expect him to go to the most negative expression of any of these energies. And we can't forget the very slow-moving Eris and Aries approaching the 24th degree of that sign because this also puts its energies at minimum within reach of Trump Saturn and certainly close enough to lock into the traveling Capricorn stellium consisting of Venus, Mars and now Pluto and with a moon trigger. Eris being in these degrees adds to the legal link I made yesterday by Mars ruling the ninth of legal affairs because natal and transiting Eris is in his ninth and suggests the problem may come through the agency of female warrioress energy, which is what Eris specializes in. In this sense, one example of the Eris panic in Trump's chart would be Letitia James. Another is Liz Cheney. Another is Fanny Willis. The feminine gender is out to get this guy. But yeah, I guess they actually are, and I say for good reason. And I don't just mean his more immediate criminal transgressions. I mean the repugnant karma he carries in his bones from decades back in regard to his treatment of women. Methinks it's starting to slowly but surely encircle him. Bottom line, when we include far away, slow moving planets like Pluto and Eris in this complex, the threats at the end of the month are all the more real and dangerous. And what does it amount to? Well, at minimum, to more cuts in what looks like a death by a thousand cuts.